see if I can do it. You can't. Cheers! Welcome to Cocktail Hour at the Coop. I'm Liz from Arrow Acres, my sister Leanne. We're not at our parents' farm, Arrow Acres Farm in Wall, New Jersey today. We're in the basement. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. It's our last podcast of the year of 2021. I remember last year, New Year's, we were like, we did it, we made it, woo, New Year. We made it again. <laughs> Wait, I saw, wait, I saw a really funny meme today. Cheers. To, oh, what's one, like, but, walk in, be quiet? Did you see that it one? It was, like, the Furby, and they, like, had it. Oh, yeah. Like, the gremlin was, like, going to get wet. No, there's one, like, we're entering 2022. Don't say anything. Be very quiet. and Don't touch anything. <laughs> just, let's just go in Dipto. like this. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah, COVID, we got it. COVID is ramping up again. Mm -hmm. And uh, my son's supposed to be at the Peach Bowl right now in Atlanta, and he is sitting on my couch, but I made him a peach pie. <laughs> I don't. That was very right cute. <laughs> I, I just felt so bad. His flight got canceled, and then it was supposed to be 9 o'clock last night. The game's tonight at 7. If he didn't take the 9 o'clock flight, he could have taken a 6 o'clock flight this morning from New York, Ooh. which means we had to get up at 3 to get him there. For a seven o'clock game tonight, he's he an old man. Been so he would been so tired and COVID and blah blah blah. And he really truly was afraid that he wouldn't get home on New Year's Eve. Yeah, because all these flights are getting canceled because of COVID. They don't can't staff the planes and whatever. So yes, apparently our children all brought all of their home stuff, like virtual stuff, home the day before Christmas Eve because just in case and what i'm hearing is that it's the staffing in the school like if the teachers aren't there yeah. and there's no subs can't have kids in there so or cross their fingers uh one of uh grant's teacher's husband had it the week before and she wasn't at school so they had a sub that whole week which i didn't realize he never told me oh yeah she's well, an email she's, yeah, she's, she's like thank you for all the gifts that got dropped off at my house <laughs> like, where were you? tested positive i started with symptoms but i'm negative i was like oh brother yay fun so anyway stay safe and happy and healthy and wash your hands wash your hands <laughs> so okay but we'll get through thank goodness we all love to knit and crochet and make stuff right yeah because like sassy karen right now she People at her work are positive, so she had to stay home. But she has all these projects. It's a bummer. She can't go see her new grandbaby. But she can, thank goodness we have all that. Like, if I, it's like a snowstorm. It's like I, a really long snowstorm. Like, <coughs> <laughs> sorry about the ring on the TV. We don't know how to get rid of it. Just keep your head like that. We were going to, this was our solution before. <laughs> so just, you know, it's a, you know, whatever. whatever. It's fine. But anyway, so anyway. And the dog, oh, and the dog barking, barking and the kids stomping. Yes. It's, you know, it's but you like us, right? Yay! <laughs> you don't care. All right, so we thought for the end of the year podcast. Well, do we want oh, to do you want talk about Christmas stuff? Yes. About Christmas. Yes, and we're going to talk about like our favorite things of the year. Like all and that And we stuff. want you to comment. So like we have some categories and we want to know what your favorite things yeah. are. But, um, let's start with Christmas presents. This is what she made me. I loved knitting. I love it. Isn't I worked the other day. This oh, is, can't, you can't really see it. All right. Well, they can't sit like that. There, there now you, you go. can see it. This, I love it. Isn't it beautiful? I really love it. So this is the Treehouse hat by... Somebody. Her Instagram is like B Mandarin. She's like has, her Instagram is so pretty. She's in like France, I think. And um, I love her stuff. So this is knit with... Like the last thing I had in my stash. Long ago. Yeah, that they don't make it anymore. Sorry. Which stinks. It's a wool it's an awesome yarn. alpaca blend. And it holds like this. But so I don't enjoy cables. I can do them fine. I don't enjoy them. Oh, Did not gosh. realize that this was cables. So show the branches. Okay. So see them? It was only, there were like a two, like hold one in front, knit you know, pearl mm -hmm. on the back and then knit off the cable needle. So quick, oh, lots of barking. We may she have- So Sunny wants to play with Chase. They are locked in one of the bedrooms. I'm trying to get them to use the whole upstairs of the house, but they're complaining that no, the game they're playing has to be played in Wade's bedroom. Uh, I think they're probably having like a pillow fight where they have to jump off the bed and like attack each other. Mm. And now Sunny is barking like a little bit. Um, so anyway, and then I put on a, just it's fake. it's a faux fur it's a faux fur we have beautiful alpaca ones if you want to switch no, it out we don't. i went in to look for one and they were gone everybody's i put them up 
and people sold them. And what was happening was people were taking hats from the coop and they're like, I want that pom pom one. I'm like, I can do Perfect. that. There's the pom pom. So I here's what I did, which I didn't know. Purple Debbie told me. She sent me a little pinch on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, like I didn't know, if you put a button on the inside and you have one of these pom-poms that you buy that has like an elastic band, it's like a hair band, you just take your crochet hook and pull it through and it goes around there. Look at and that. then you could take it off if you and don't you want to wear so it. With, it's safe. You wear it with or without the pom-pom or you can switch Look, your pom-poms out. I had no idea. I felt like a dummy, but... I've seen people but do can, it. And you but can I, take it off. But I've never done it. And you have to wrap it around twice on this one, or it's hey, too sunny. Come here. Or it's too come tight. Here. Not tight enough. It was like. Whoop, whoop. I just did one for my son's girlfriend. Come here. And she has. Come I did baby. the same thing. Come up, 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 up. Sunny come girl was brand come up, new up, up, last year at this up. time. Oh, come here. Oh, no. Come here. Come here. She's like, why do you do that to me? I don't want to do that again. I'll pick <laughs> you up. Come here. So this was the little tiny puppy last Christmas. Hi, Sunny girl. She's still very little. She is She's little only like layout. six. Well, last time I weighed her, she was sixty-three pounds. <laughs> she's a good girl. Oh yeah, he's a good girl. She's, she's a so pretty cute. girl. She's okay. beautiful. Go ahead. Go bark at the boys. She matches socks. The cutest color. Ever. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I should have brought the cat cave. If you follow me on uh, Instagram, have I posted the cat cave? I think so. She made a so belted. Boys, if you're on Patreon, you're going to get a special video soon. Oh. I recorded. The boys helped me make it, and we, I recorded the whole process. Oh, so much barking. I have to go. Okay, adjust we're going to pause. Hold on. Did they stop? It's been so much barking. We're gonna pretend like that's not happening. Ready? It's even the old farty dog. Um, so what we're talking about? Socks. Cat Socks cave. is cat cave. So they made me a felted alpaca cat cave. It looks like a, like a weird mushroom. I was thinking gnome hat. The boys thought yeah. poop emoji. <laughs> but it's like off white, so it can't be poop. Yeah. But anyway, so it's like this cool thing. And I'll Hershey try to take kiss, a picture of Hershey with a little shape. hole in it. And I just thought it was so cute because I put it out. I didn't like tell him, I'm like, this is for you. He doesn't know he's a kitten. Left it out and then he went over to it. It was like, what's this? Then he went like, he went in it. But now he, he has it all and he lays on it like a bed. Yeah, he just sits on it, it's so cute. So that was a nice gift. And when you felt things, they shrink a lot, right? If you are a wet felter, you know this. And I knew it was gonna shrink, but I didn't know how much because this was a new material. It's actually a wool alpaca blend that I had gotten. And I thought like, all right, I think it's probably gonna shrink this much. It would shrink a lot more than I thought it was gonna oh. shrink. So I was like, oh, it's a kitten cave. It's, it's not a kitten cat cave. cave. Yeah. So I'll have to make them a bigger one. Well, and normally they're like a big round poof shape. I've only seen them at Ryan Beth. There's that one booth at the end of a, one of the barns that always has them up top. They have oh, like yeah. the felted ball um, coasters and stuff. They always have the cat Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean? I know, outside, outside the barn, that, that little like, nope. in in between the little barns? No, the, it's oh. in one of the big barns, like right oh. at the end, right before you walk out. But anyway, so that's very, that was a fun present. And then she made me a basket. So I love it so much, it falls over, but that's okay. Yes. So I have a Look. kind of a funny story about the basket. Isn't it so pretty, but I've been putting my book and my knitting <laughs> project in it, and then the cat goes in it. The kitten goes in it. So I love it. I started it because Ooh. For our Fiber Guild dinner, we were supposed to bring a handmade present. So I looked through my book. I was like, I'll make a little basket. So I looked through my book and I was like, oh, I have those materials. I can make that. Thinking it was like little, I don't know. I just I love the, the colors and, too. Um, yes, it was like so in depth. I was like 10 hours in and I was like, I'm not giving this away <laughs> at a Fiber Guild dinner. Sorry, Fiber Guild friends. I love you <laughs> if you watch. But you weren't getting this. I got it. And I was like, so I hadn't finished it. I was like, all it was like up to here. And I was like, I changed my mindset. I was like, no, 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 this will be a good fun. And then it dried. And I like thought you were gonna be like, close it. I'm like, oh, no, you can't. Yeah, no, it's like a hard, hard yeah. basket, dull, like the rest of the baskets I've made. Yeah. But I've been it's putting my just decorative. No, but I put my book in it and it I falls was over. I was knitting a project, a hat for my son's, my middle son's girlfriend. 
and I just put it next to the couch and I just like on, on the floor mm -hmm. and I just like lean it up against. Yeah. But it's, it's so pretty. I love it. But it is so pretty. It's so pretty. I like the design. It's called the there. marriage basket. Why is it called the marriage basket? Was know. there a reason for it? I don't know. The book's right behind us. This would be a good new to you if you uh, yes. have never done basket and, making. And I made so many baskets that week that like all of my fingers cracked open and I've been like <laughs> nursing them back to life. And they finally, oh. today's the first day in like three weeks they feel okay. I don't know where she went. I'm coming. I'm getting my book. Oh, she's getting the book. The basket book. Oh, you can see so, the design even better this way. Like, Look how pretty. If you like, I know our library has this book. I love the I library. I now own it, but it's from this book, The Ultimate Basket Book. And it's called The Marriage Basket. I would say it should be it stuff looks like that. It looks just like that. This is one of the most interesting baskets I've ever seen. Its origin is obscure, although my prototype came from the mountains of North Carolina. Definitely a Cherokee influence in the pattern design. So this was the original, and they just had like one weird little handle. Maybe it hangs you hang on the it. wall. So maybe you hang it on something. So that was the original, and that's yours. I did the I did the top different. I didn't do the X's. Oh, thanks a lot. Sorry. But well, anyway, yeah. I love it. It's one of my favorite gifts. And this is a great book. So if you if you've made baskets before, it's a great book. I don't I wouldn't recommend it like if you've never made a basket. If you've never made a basket, I would take a class and like really have hands on help because oh. they're tricky and they hurt your hands. Um, my other favorite present I thought I'd share is my husband went to uh, the new yarn shop in Red Bank. He goes every single year shopping in Red Bank since the beginning of time. Like since we've been married, like 20 some years, he takes a day off of work. He goes, he usually takes my boys, but they couldn't this year between school and class parties. Jeez, couldn't miss his class party. Anyway, so there's a new store called Mother Knitter and he got me this project bag. And I, I love I it. I love it. It's my color. It's your color. But I've been using it as a purse. Yeah. Um, because I just love so I throw my, it's this, this is the name of it. It's all Norwegian, so I don't know how to say anything. Oh, no. No, um, someone no, told me to right. No, it's not. It's no, you're supposed to like you're someone said cover your eyes. No, you're supposed to do this, but it doesn't work because of our light. That's oh. a focusing thing. And we don't have that fancy camera. We just use my oh, yeah. own. <laughs> so I can turn this off and you can read it. Yeah. I don't know. It's like from Norway. And then I can turn our light back on. So we look fresh and awake and not tired. Like we've been sitting on the couch all day. Like, <laughs> I have. but anyway, it has like, you know, fun pockets. And it has the thing where you can put Ooh, like, I like see? That. and look, th I like this. There's where you can put multiple yarns in there and then and feed, feed them, them through the, the eyelet. Because I just did for my mother a cowl that had three colors. It was the Immortalist cowl, and it had three colors at once for like eight rows. Ooh, that is hard. If you guys are doing color for the first time, don't do three at a time because I'm pretty advanced and it is hard. But your yarn gets all tangled because if you're just two, you keep one on one side of you, one on the other. But yeah. when you have that third, so I was like, that would have been so great to have when I was with doing crocheting, that. With crocheting, if you're working with more mm. than one, even if you're working with two, then get twisted easily. So what I do is like one goes front, one goes back. And like every time you go to pick up the other one, like, the white one goes to the back or whatever. Like the light oh. one goes, I don't know. Well, I don't know, but it's there's hard. A way, so there's yeah. a way you can do it without the memory. That would have been, yeah, I'm sure there was a way I could have done it too, but I didn't. It was just a tangled mess, which I just made just in time for Christmas Eve. Also had to do like a little change the pattern at the end. So I forgot this, but it was very exciting. My mom got me this in Rhinebeck. She got me the case. So it was at a little booth in one of the outside barns. Yeah. It had nothing in it. So I don't know where it was from. And I put all my nice wood hooks in it. I had to put them upside down because the, the little pockets were a little oh, too yeah, tight yeah. to put the fat ends. But it? the fat ends are where it says what they are. So love I it. do. I love it. And then it rolls up. I have a circular knitting uh, needle case like that. I love it. I picked this one out and then I forgot about it. So that was exciting to open. <laughs> Isn't that nice when you get old and you forget stuff? Oops, the dogs are barking again. Yep. Anyway, so that was, but we had a great Christmas. I hope you guys did too. But I'm not drinking my little Slimmy Cams. So I hope you guys all had a good Christmas too. We had a very nice Christmas, Christmas Eve. But I have another present for you. 
you another present for me. I do. Oh, and she also filled my basket with wine, a fun glass, and goldfish. So it was my so funny. Knows me. So it was funny. I had the wine. I had the gift card. Oh, and a gift card to Lebranos. And I, I figured I was like, that'll be for you. That's like Rick's present. You know, the two of you go out for dinner. Or whatever. Yes. And it just looked very sad with just wine and that little gift card. And I was like, goldfish crackers. And mom was like, I was like, maybe I'll put like chocolates in there. She's like, she likes goldfish. I was like, sure do. Yes. And I'm walking in shop right, and they had that eat, drink, and be merry dopey cup. I was like, I've been using yes. it all week. Well, you got a new one now. Is so it? I got a cricket machine. Watch out, she'll label you and put a sticker on you. <gasps> what do I get? Which one am I getting? Well, I tried this one the other day. Wait, I need like a white paper to like roll up in there. There are no show notes. <laughs> I gotta see what's on it. So that one says cheers. Yay! Right? Ooh, yeah. That is a nice size glass. It is a nice size glass. And then I just did this one today. Oh, <gasps> shut up. You can't oh, see you it. Oh, you can't see it. Put your hands on it. It's our logo. <laughs> ding, ding. You can't see because we're right. Don't drop Wait, it. Wait, ready? Oh, you have it. <gasps> there it is. Cocktail <laughs> hour. Is this one for me? Yeah, that one's for you. She got a cricket machine. She's like, you know. I'm testing it. I'm you know learning. What, no, wait, you know what it reminds me of? All right, ready? Old, like if you're my age, I'm 43. Print the, shop oh, when you were a kid. I was thinking it was the button maker. Remember when we had the oh. button maker when we were kids? Yes. No. That's what it reminds me of. No. When we maker. were kids, we had print shop, remember guys? And the printer had the little like holes in the thing. You made banners. And it was like oh, shoot. Shoot. for every holiday and everyone's birthday. Look at fun. She's yep. out of control. Yep. Well, well, I'm going to switch. So I've been testing. I'll put my, my like I'm testing here. materials. So like the green cheers one is the dollar store vinyl. Like the dollar store sells it. So it's definitely not as sticky. Ooh, yay! And I got mine. It's just so fun. But look what else I made. So I want to show you other things. Oh my god, I love it. So oh yeah, watch our out. Acres farm. We got our little logo. And then this is the reverse of the logo. Oh, they're so hard to see in this light. Whatever. You get the idea, but feel it. Look at that. I like it. And then. That's look. so cute. He's wearing a scarf. <laughs> and then I did. New to you. We're going to talk about that next. And then this is that infusion stuff, but it's supposed to be on polyester. So if it was on polyester, it would have come out like. A lot brighter polyester. and darker. Yeah, like on my mom's old clothes. 100% polyester. <laughs> yeah, you're going to put my mom. They sell bags. Like they oh, sell oh. stuff that they want to use their stuff. And blah, blah, blah. Polyester. And then I fire. thought like. like you're out of you. control. <laughs> like that I could put like. You know. Start, I, I went to the dollar store. These are from the dollar store. I don't know You have a little graphic okay. designer in you. No, I don't. I definitely don't. You don't? No, I struggle with that part. I don't know. I don't struggle with that part. Like I have the idea. I know what I want, but I don't know how to do it in the Cricut oh, program. Oh yeah. No, I'd be that way too. If it's a new program. So I don't know, but I don't know. Like, like I want to draw my own alpaca silhouette. I don't know how to do that. So if you have you, Cricut tips. Or you text your sister who's home. Fix it. So, all right. all right. So let's get to, should we do new to you or like our favorites? I think new to you first. Okay. New because to you. I, mine's quick. And most of you know about new to you. But if you don't, if you are new, because we do have some new viewers. Yes. Um, new to you. 2022. 2022. It rhymes. New to you make along is we are big believers in continuing to learn things as we get older, which we stopped doing at some point. But so, Never. So you have to try something new. Doesn't have to be a project. It can be a technique. It can be small. You don't have to finish it. You can hate it. You can love it. You can do multiple things. Um, in the past, we've done a million things. Last year, I did. I did a ton last year, and I didn't. Yeah, because you had a puppy. Yes. Yes. So you can do if you've been like, oh, I want to do it, but I've never really want known how to do it. Never steep a sweater. Try it. Stick it. It's not that hard. There's lots and, of techniques. And there's lots of like little like cup koozies and yep, posters yep. that you can you do. Try with. it. You don't do, need to do a whole sweater and then screw yes. it up. There's little baby projects. So if yes. you want to try sticking, 
Make a cup koozie. Yes. Stick it. Do Put it. a button band on it and, and make then, a cute little... And then do your sweater. Right. And also, there's a lot of support out there. So there's a lot of people that have been doing this every year with us, so they all join in. So if you're like, we have a bunch of people right now that all want to learn brioche. So I have a thing set up two ways. Um, our Patreon page, we're going to do some, if you're a patron or want to become a patron, you can join and we're going to do like small groups where we're actually going to like zoom together and learn yeah. together like mini make along yeah. within the big make so we're going to like set up some times that we're all like okay did you figure it out or what are you doing or how did you do it and where are you learning so we're going to do that also on ravelry i have a, a thread going which i always do but because we're confusing we have like a million names it's actually on the arrow acres farm group page on ravelry we'll link it here um so that's where everyone can post pictures and you can go back yeah, and forth. If you're not you on Instagram. Can all, yeah, and you guys can all oh, talk no, to right. each other. You don't need us. Like, right. just go for it. So, and then on Instagram, if you just post stuff like, oh, hey, I want to learn this. Is anyone else learning it? We can kind of like. Hashtag. Yeah. New to you, Mikalung, which is M-A-L. New to you, Mal 2022. Yeah. I also follow new to you 2022, but because it rhymes, it's going to be very popular with non-fiber artist people like you're gonna get a lot yeah, of things like that are not and health yeah and so like last year we had like a bunch of people hop on the new to you 2021 hashtag that were like had car like fancy sports yeah, yeah. cars it wasn't... and like hair stuff and yeah. <laughs> so we add the little mal in there to try to weed out those yes. other people but yeah. i do if you accidentally put in New to you, 2022. I checked that yeah. also, and I will. You will be entered. Yeah. So also, every time you use that hashtag, and you're making your projects, I enter you into our drawing for our grand prize winner. Which, as of today, which is what December 30th. 30th. Yes. We have what 16. 16 people that are donating prizes to you guys. So as long as you enter, like I said, you don't have to finish. Just like just try you it. You have to try it. You don't. Have, she tried brioche a couple years ago and hated it. She didn't finish it. No, I did not finish it. I also tried Intarsia. I didn't love that, but I tried it. Um, but there's some stuff I tried and I loved. Yeah. Like, you know, you learn stuff. So I fun. did embroidery. I did needle punch. Yeah. Lots I've of stuff. A lot of things. I have a lot of people who have been saying that they want to learn Tunisian. So if you do want to learn Tunisian, I would suggest um, The Backwoods Slouchy by Ashley from Montana Crochet. If you don't follow her already, her she, stuff has a, is she dyes yarn and she does awesome stuff and she designs patterns and you don't just have to be a crocheter to follow her her yarn is really yeah. awesome and her colors um, are pretty yeah like really really cool colors so i tested her back with slouchy for her and it's a nice easy tunisian hat small one skein big pom-pom if you want it i love the hat um, i've made a few of them i know other people who have made them and really enjoyed the pattern so if you want to try Tunisian, I would look up that one. And isn't she going to be on one of our Zooms? So I have talked to Ashley, and if you are a patron of ours, she has um, agreed to come on one of our knit nights. So I'm thinking yeah. February yeah, would, that be, would good. be good. So if you want to like chat with Ashley from Montana Crochet, she'll be on the Feb. I, I have to check with her. To, don't quote me on this, but we're hoping that February will work. Um, so that will be that. So you're doing that. You're doing, no, what are you I'm doing? I'm doing mosaic crochet. So I am going to work on the mosaic jumper by Nomad Stitches. Nomadic yep, Stitches. Yep, yep, Nomadic Stitches. And I'm using okay. yarn that I got in Rhinebeck. So this is Miss Babs. This is Feederbrook. And I'm only going to do it for the yoke. Maybe something at the bottom of the sleeves. Maybe something at the very bottom I'll do. Um, and she, I posted today on Instagram in my stories. If you go follow, is it nomad, nomadic, nomadic stitches? Oh, I thought I wrote it down. You should Sorry. really know. I think we talk about it every podcast. We're I always know. like, what is, because nomadic knits girls, right? We like, yes, them. I get like, I get confused. We're awesome too. It's going to be linked below. Sure. I'll link it. Oh yeah. You're going to edit I'm this editing. time. Yay! And anyway, <laughs> she's giving classes. So I assume oh, they're right. virtual. I would think so. I she has a new baby. She, oh, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. Overseas. I think she's in, I think she's overseas. I think, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. We'll find out. Hopefully oh. it's the link below. <laughs> so if you want to go, go on her page and figure that out. And she's giving classes. Like, I already, 
I bought the pattern, I printed it out, and I did like a little test sample of it, of the mosaic crochet already. I made like a little hat. I showed it a few episodes oh, ago. Oh yeah, your H2P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like yellow and blue. Yeah. Um, I really like it. I think it's fun to follow the chart, whatever, so. Uh, that's my two. So if you want to make that along with me, do Go it. I'm doing brioche. I am going to finally tag along. I think I've actually done brioche. I think. But I'm not sure. There's a lot of yelling and barking upstairs. Um, so we're going to do this. Uh, we have two hats that we picked through Patreon. There's Because there's like a bunch of us. There were like eight or nine there's of us. There's a lot of people. And even on Instagram, like the little bit I've yeah. been posting about like, what do you want to learn? It's been brioche, brioche, yeah. brioche, brioche, brioche. So we picked two different hats. We're going to try either the brioche starter hat by um, Raina Cruz, which is a free pattern. That's in like a DK weight. Or the first brioche hat by Jared Flood. You know, I love my Jared Flood. So that's a, like a $4 pattern. That's a chunky one. I'm thinking that might be a nice way to learn it. Yeah, it's a lot of the barking. The dogs are We're super bonkers. sorry about the barking. I, I, I'm going to oh, go. Are you going to go and yell I, at them? I have to. Sorry. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay we're back. We're <laughs> the barking stops. We're sorry. Sorry. sorry, but you know, whatever. We're not the best so so okay you know what the problem is nick isn't here to like control yes. them upstairs they're on their own okay so that's my one thing i'm doing brioche we're gonna learn it together second thing i'm doing and really was it tracy i think it was tracy mm -hmm. who has this super cute granny yes. baby that yes, just look it's so cute she wants to do granny squares i was like yeah okay you taught me to crochet and i didn't like love crochet but no, i can do just it like i didn't love knitting and there I is can a, do it. but there is a blanket that i've wanted to make uh -huh. for like it's like 15 the little years. squares and the big squares it's called this is what i'm gonna make sunshine day afghan by alicia paulson it's either blankets are like such a huge undertaking well i'll make a pillow <laughs> <laughs> wait i'll shift the picture I think I take like, a screenshot. Blankets are like a huge undertaking. I know, but so I... this is what I would suggest. Make a few granny squares and, and then try I to like put them together it. and see if and you like doing like it. it. And don't buy all the yarn before you do it. I know, but so she did, I literally like this blanket. I've told you about it. So the outside she has, like the outside color is all like fawn, like alpaca mm -hmm. colors, right? There's like a lighter brown and a darker brown. And inside, it's like dusty rose and like turquoisey and like so pretty. Nick's yeah. help to control the beasts upstairs. Yes. yes. So now I'm gonna be barking because Nick's home. Yeah, probably. Anyway, so Don't when she said skull. granny squares, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try that too. So that you have to teach me. Mm -hmm. The third one, if I have time, which I don't. But know. I have to tell you the truth. You don't. Know how I don't to know if I know how to make granny squares. Well, you can figure it out. By the I can read a pattern. Like I have like. That pattern that the book that Chevis has, like whatever two hundred yeah, yeah, yeah. squares, I have that, and I used to do some of those, and some of them are really freaking hard. Well, how about I show you the pattern? I'll buy the pattern yeah. for six dollars, and then yes. it's a six dollar pattern. Yeah. I'll buy it. I can read it and figure it out. Okay, and then teach me, and I might go. Oh, I hate this, but yeah. I'll learn something yeah. new. We're gonna okay. Hear. Yeah. And you'll then, learn and then the third thing, if I, you know what, I don't know if it's new, but I've never made selbu mittens. I want to also make selbu mittens, so I want to do a crochet version. I've been saying it for like three years. I want to do a crochet version of the selbu mittens. All I need is the pattern, the chart. So I've got a book from I'm the library, library remember? Remember? and get the chart, and then you guys use your library. Libraries <laughs> are great, <laughs> but sassy Karen found the cutest hat she's making for her grandson. She sent me the picture. I was like, oh, I need that. She said it's in a book, and I was like, oh, okay. So I looked at the book online and then i looked up my library they don't have that but they had another um book that she made with all sweaters that were awesome i'm gonna ravel it so the library and it's at a different branch they're getting it for me use your libraries yeah i we, mean we live in a great county where they're yeah, we're lucky too we have a, like how many libraries are in our a lot, a lot a lot and we're not at headquarters right here in our town but like you get it within like two days two days you have your book and I do it all online. Just look it up. Everything's look, look. online. You put your library card in and yes. and it says, and it shows you where How they long? have it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They show you which yeah. branches have it and which yeah. ones don't. So. And if you want a popular book, it'll tell you how long you have to wait sometimes on Audible stuff. I don't read popular books. <laughs> I read 23 books this year. Wow. I looked it up because we were going to do our end of the year. What was our favorite stuff? I read 23 books. 
And you, how did you have them? Did you write them all down? Like, I, how did you remember? Um, good because reads. I watched a lot of movies that I don't remember. Well, that, so I am a big, well, Ravelries, a lot of people um, are not good about putting their projects. I post every single project I make. Well, no. I don't post the stuff I make for the coop to just sell. Yeah. I don't do that. But, but like personal stuff. Personal stuff, it's all on there. So I can remember. Or I like to put notes because I think it's helpful when I'm looking at patterns. Mm -hmm. And then they say like, oh, this was wrong. Or I did this, blah, blah, blah. So I, I like that. But on Goodreads, I put every single book I read. I put a star rating. Sometimes I do a tiny little like why I liked it, why I didn't like it. And then I have a catalog because what happened was years ago... When the boys were little, before I was knitting, I read every day. Like I knit, I read. And I was getting the same books from the library. And I'd be yeah. like, oh, I already read this. And then Rick said, why don't you just keep a list? And I started writing it down. And that was before Goodreads. It was called Shelfari. And then that switched to Goodreads. I meant to tell you, I have been doing screenshots. I have a friend who reads a lot. Mm -hmm. And she's been doing her favorites of the year. Like she's been doing oh, daily posts. Oh, yeah. So I've been screenshotting. And oh, yeah. Send it to I me. I was going to send them to you. Because if them, yeah. you can find someone that likes... Same right. With I knitting. don't know if she likes the same stuff as you. But same with knitting. If you find someone that makes like the same stuff as you, then like, you know, you follow them. Now, can you follow people on your book thing? Oh, yeah. So like... So, if, do you want to give your name on that so that if people... Oh, yeah. I think it's... Uh, yeah, because that's Karen and... I think it's just Leanne Coppola. L-E-A-N-N-E-C-O-P-P-O-L-A. -E -E I have to spell my whole thing. My name, my address. Um, I, I went from Liz Lee Sherman and never having to spell my name once in my life. And then on my honeymoon to Liz Alvino. How do you spell your last name? I was like, ah, oh, I got one of those names now. I have one of those names. I've always had to spell my name. At least the first name. And you would think that my street would be easy to spell, but it's not. I get asked to spell New Bedford all the time. Hmm. Mine's really hard to spell. Yep. I just spell everything. Bloop. Anyway, so that's that. So but as, they like as a person it. who takes the information, I used to be a person who took that information, say it first and then spell it. The people oh, who yeah, just yeah. spell it. Yeah, you're like, Ooh. I'm like, huh? I'll say, and then, yeah, yeah, it helps. I'll say I, it's my whole name. This is just a tip from a, you know, yes. person who used to like have to take information. All right, so that's my life next. hack. <laughs> Say your name and then spell it. So helpful. What did you learn from this podcast? Do you know this really isn't a podcast, by the way, because we were on a video? What is it called? YouTube channel? A YouTube channel. Sure. Garrett left home. It's going on a date. I got a Fitbit. She has an Apple Watch. Does it connect to your phone? Yeah, it does. I didn't tell you. You haven't told. We haven't talked each other. Okay, ready? I haven't told you. Okay, this is a great story, right? My son has a new girlfriend. Oh, I was not a part. <laughs> I can do it again. I can make it happen again. <laughs> Maybe. No, <laughs> that was the teacher. Wait, so, I saw a funny video today. You know, like the trick that you used to do with Dalton, like you, when it was an itty bitty baby, you like move the legs and make him fart. Well, it was a funny video where the mom's doing that like three in the morning to the baby and then the dad makes her do it to him the next day, like to the dad. <laughs> and he farts right in her face. And they laugh. Oh, gross. But he didn't think he would actually fart. Oh. <laughs> so, okay, so my oldest has a new girlfriend from like the summer, but she, he, they dated for a hot second when they were like in high school. In high school. Um, anyway, but they're very serious now, and she's a doll. Sweetest girl. She's just, if they get married, great. I, think, I love her, okay? Yes, don't so, screw this one up. Do, I had that conversation with him, and apparently her parents had the same conversation with her. <laughs> like, uh, don't screw this one up. So they're a perfect, they're a perfect match. So anyway, she had kind of, they. I think they talked about how much they were going to spend on each other for mm -hmm. Christmas. I think they kind of had that conversation. You kind of like, have to. He didn't. They're serious. He enough. just wanted to know, yeah, like, like, I don't I, want you to get me too like, much, and I want to get like, you I enough. I really like, like you, but I'm in college. And I don't have that much yes, money. Yes. So, like, what are your expectations? Yes. So I believe they had that conversation. So he kept saying to me, she kept saying, "I hope you're not upset." My mom's calling me. Hold on, we have to pause. <laughs> I don't know where right. we left off. I don't off. know where I left off, but we had a lot going on. But anyway. Rachel, they, Rachel, they, they discussed the new... how much money they were going to spend on each other. I yes. Can, I can cut this out if we need to. So take a slow break in your speaking. Okay. So they discussed. And she kept saying to him, you might be upset with what I got. Like, you might be upset. 
And he's like, why? She's like, no, you're going to like it, but you might be upset. So he's like, I think she spent too much. So he had been talking about concert tickets, like going to a concert in the summer. There's like this awesome concert that's going to be in Atlantic City. My nephew wants him to go. And he thought maybe she got on that. And then anyway, we exchanged. So Santa came and I, it's very hard for me to surprise my older boys. Very hard because they give me a list. And that's what I get them. Like I never surprise them. So Dalton's been wanting an Apple watch for like a while. So I thought I'm going to surprise him. So I got him that. And Christmas morning, I like, I recorded like he was a little kid. He was just like, oh, oh my God, really? And he's so cute because my little one's still like, we're on that. He doesn't, he doesn't believe, but we didn't, he hasn't said it but yet. But he's good with the, with my kids who fully believe. But he hasn't um, said it to me yet. But I know. It was that weird It Christmas. was like a good two or three years ago. He was like asking me a million oh, questions. Yeah, no. like, he doesn't nah, believe. Nah, nah, nah. He doesn't like, believe, but we haven't had the full conversation yet. Yeah. We decided like, let's give it like a week I or two. I never had the full conversation. Okay, so, do you still believe? <laughs> yeah, I do. All right, so anyway, it was very exciting. It was, it was a better. lot of fun. So the next day... Christmas was it Christmas day. night? Did he cut? Oh, Christmas, Christmas day. Christmas night. Right. Came, she came over Christmas night. And um, she came over and was hanging out with us downstairs for a long time. And he was like showing. And she was like, that's so cool. Oh my God, yeah, you can do like this face and that face and whatever. And she was just like so, so sweet. They go upstairs to his room to exchange gifts and what I don't know, whatever they did. <laughs> and they make dinner. And he comes down and he goes, Guess what she got me for Christmas? I go, and he goes, An Apple Watch. <laughs> no. I was like, Oh, she was like, Yeah, it's okay. That's how sweet she is. Because some girls would be like, oh, I got you that. When he texted her that morning and said, my mom, you know, I got an Apple yeah. Watch, she was like, that's so exciting. I, you must be so happy. Is she the sweetest? So Aww. the kitten, the kitten apparently likes to play with AirPods. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So <laughs> Dalton's had been missing since the 15th of December. Mine went missing and I, we, we've never lost them. Like I have his old ones. Never, ever, ever have we lost AirPods ever. So I'm like, it's got to be the kitten. He, and Rick's like, I saw him with a white thing. I'm like, yep. So we can't find them, can't find them. So she took the Apple Watch and exchanged it and got him AirPods. AirPods. So he got AirPods. And I did find mine. They were with the shoes on the porch. <laughs> they were even with the boots. <laughs> he hasn't found his yet. But she's just so sweet. It was Aww. so sweet. But yeah, I was like, oh. And then I guess her mom was like, why didn't you text his mom? And she was like, I didn't think she was going to. And she's so sweet. Right. She goes, She's like, oh, I know, like, he really wants him, but he'd never ask. I'm like, I know. That's why I got right. it for him. She goes, that's why I got it for him. And we both just got our haircut. And she leaves it. And Rick's like, so you're dating your mom? <laughs> She's so nice. She's so nice. She came over today, and she was texting me, not him. And I think he gets weirded out by that, because she had to watch her nephew today. He's only 14 months. Um, and I'm like, that's a long day, because the mother, the yeah. grandmother has COVID. I'm like... Bring him over to the farm. I'll take him for a walk. Yeah. So she texted me, not Dalton. <laughs> he was like, oh, man. Oh, what happened there? Oh, our fireplace ended. Okay. And I lost my remote. We were really just trying to, like, hide the ring thing. Hmm. Mixtape, but... Hugo, and a Christmas Prince, the Royal Baby. <gasps> That's mixtape. Did you hear, me... see what Garrett got me for Christmas? No, but I didn't watch the mixtape. Oh, yeah. it's going to oh, boop, boop, boop. Back. It's going to start talking to us. Oh, but Garrett, Hello. my middle son, he made me a playlist on Spotify. That means we've been, we've had it on for over an hour. It's an hour. Well, we stopped a lot. We did. Anyway, but he made me a playlist on Spotify. Wasn't That's that so sweet? sweet? That's very thoughtful. With our picture and he even put one of the Lion King songs on because we went to see <laughs> the Lion King. <laughs> okay. All right. Mod is supposed to be taking us to New York City to see a play, but they're all closed. Are we watching a movie? No, I thought I put on the fireplace. <laughs> you were watching yes, it. It's, it's, oh, it's back. Come on. Play. I had it right. All right. All right. So let's get to our end of the year podcast with our favorite stuff out. of 2021. Let's do it. So now, if you have favorites, we would also like to know yours. So please comment. So you can enable Please. all of us, as Sassy Karen says, that we are enablers. You're yes. welcome. Yes. Yes. So we will enable you. You will enable us. We love it. All the stuff that we missed over we the year, because apparently we're going to lockdown and again. Some of my stuff so is old. let's find stuff to do. Well, I only remember stuff that happened like a week ago. 
Yeah, me too. I there's apparently a function on Netflix that if you go to the website, you can see everything that you watch. Oh, so I was gonna do that, but oh. I forgot. Oh, so what are we gonna start with? Shows. These are our favorite things of 2021. So these are our categories. You're missing a very good show, by the way. Shows. On your list. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I have one that's not written down. Oh, uh, well, I have only Shows, one written down. Mm -hmm. Movies, books, patterns, and or products. Yes, I, I put those together too. Yeah. Um, a recipe and a memory. Yes. And I have mom's memory to, to tell. Okay. Instead of my own, because okay. I think mom's is funnier. Okay. So our favorite shows. Um, you left off. I saw your list already. Uh, Only murders in the building. <laughs> I love it. How did you forget that? I don't know. It's so good. Only murders in the building. Ghosts. So I watched the American version. British version. And I loved it. And mom watched the American version and we loved Laugh. it. Laugh. I have to keep watching it. I loved it. Like, I loved it. Loved it. I loved, loved it. it. Thank you. Because um, someone on here, I don't remember your name, recommend it and My dead on. favorite episode. Well, dead so, on. Oh. So, you, so, you, <laughs> so, you, so apparently it's the exact same I version. I think it's the exact you, like, same. like told me things. I'm like, this is happening again, but it's, we're not. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. She doesn't do that. I don't know. When they say, how do we get rid of them? They, the ghosts want to get rid of the people. And she just goes, get out, get out, get out, get out, get so, out, get out, get out. So I watched, I watched a really terrible show years ago called Devious Mates. Nick, oh, do you need a drink? Hi, Nick. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Come home, have a drink. A good one. Nick is the keeper of the peace, hopefully, upstairs. Because it's been no. mayhem. He's like, no. No. I quit. No. <laughs> so I watched this terrible show years ago called Devious Maids. And the one lady. Oh, me. That was not on there either. Maid that was on there. That's a so, show. Her name is Hetty in the show, and she's the British one, or like the, the oh. Victorian one, and she wears the Victorian outfits, and Hetty takes over the husband. <laughs> so Jay, this like funny, like the husband, <laughs> becomes Hetty, <laughs> and I laugh so hard, and apparently I think it was the, the last season, or the last episode, mom thinks it is. So anyway, Ghost is very funny. Ghost, very funny. Thank that, you and for that's new, like that's 2021. Yes. Other than that, we both enjoy Handmaid's Tale, which is heavy. It's on Hulu. And they need more lighting because it was a little too dark yes. this season. I did not watch Ted Lasso. I think that Ted Lasso is going to be like my favorite show of all times. Like Garrett loved it. I thought he should be the, the kid and Teddy. Hi, Nick, you want to say hi? He's looking for a good glass. Hi. Yeah, I have to watch Ted Lasso. I love Ted Lasso. And I was like, I said to mom, I was like, mom, I honestly think it's like one of my favorite shows I've ever watched. And Nick fell asleep and didn't watch it with me. I don't know why you didn't watch it with me or how you didn't. Do you need me to make you a new glass with like a logo that you watch like? Out. you like an alpaca sure. logo? Watch out. You're going to have uh, stickers on he's you soon. He's going to have shirt. <laughs> he, oh, no. He's all in. He bought it for me. He knew what he was getting into. <laughs> He's like, I need to bring my hard hat home. You need to put like decals yeah. on my hard hat. I was like, yes, I do. Yes. So we need something clever to put on his hard hat. For school, there are students who will see it. Mr. Alvino. Mr. Alvino. Um, we loved Offspring. I loved Offspring. So I still miss them. So I have to tell you proud. that like Nina Proudman. My Netflix is like all American and Australian. And well, I, Rick says I only watch things with British accents, and he said Australian. everything I watch is has accents, and he says they're not that funny, but they have an accent, so you think they're funny. Yep. I totally think Love Island is um, oh, disgusting Island. in America, and but it is, like, perfect. Offspring was the best. Perfect in Australia and in the UK. So Offspring, uh, Last Tango in Halifax. So good. Right? <gasps> And now these aren't necessarily 2021 shows. We just we watched, watched them, them in this 2021. Year. Uh, I like the Queen's Gambit. It was excellent. You I like Queen's too? Gambit. Yeah. A Santa Clarita Diet. I don't think I watched the new season. What? I did not you watch pray. the new season, but I like that show. It makes me laugh. It's like have awesome. Your Honor. Oh, that was that was good. heavy. That was deep. Oh, I. Oh, go ahead. Emily in Paris. Who's totally like Katie, who I work with. Oh, my Such God. Oh, my God. That's just fluff. I have a friend that talks like that all the time. So, um, and the other one that's not on there is I watched Dope Sick, and that was very Oh, good. Dope Sick was excellent. Heavy I watched that. Okay. Yeah, I like Dope Sick. And there's a gazillion other things, because 
I crochet for a living, kind of. So I watch yeah. a lot of TV. I don't watch enough TV. <laughs> That's terrible to say. I love TV, but my I work all day, and then my family watches sports. So like, I we only have Survivor. We have three TVs. We watch one. T we watch one of them. So we have the living room. So we have a buttload of TVs, and we watch. One we watch of them. one. So everybody gets it, and then when they go to bed, we have I watch five something. TVs in this little tiny house. We have three in the basement. One. There's one right there. Oh, There's yeah. one in the brew room. Oh. <laughs> one next brewing, which she has done a long time. So there's three in the basement. Yeah, there are. And then there's one in our living room and there's one in our bedroom. Yeah. And we really only watched one in the living room. We have, oh, I guess we only have two. We have one for video games. Okay. Movies. You have, you and I have the exact same movie on there because we I don't... just watched it last week. <laughs> uh, the Unforgivable. We're like goldfish. We forget what we watched. <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> Unforgivable with Sandra Bullock. It was so good. It was really good. The other one I watched yesterday, so I remember that, is Coda, C-O-D-A, and that is on Apple TV. Oh, oh we're low battery, but that's but okay. But I have my charger right okay. here. I have the charger right there. Okay. But I just plug it in. You Coda it. is so good, which I thought... And it was on Prime, you said? No, oh. Apple TV. Oh. oh, you told me it was Prime. No, it's on Apple TV. Okay. And maybe I miss spoke but it's on apple tv but it's coda stands which i thought it was a musical term because she's a singer i thought it because in coda in music it means like the end i think we just took the little I did, bit because i put the thing in <laughs> but it means child of deaf adults and it's about a girl who is the only hearing member of her family and it's a a dad and a brother and a mom and it's the the who is you know if you watch it she's an actress that was like a a Mar you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Mar Marley, Mar that one. Mar yes, yeah, yeah. Matlin. Matlin. She's on Sesame Street. Yeah, that one. My name. She's the mom, yes. and they're like a little like like it's kind of like if dad was deaf, like tough. They live in Boston and they have like a fishing boat and stuff, and they can't hear. <laughs> Dad's not tough. No, but like burly. Rough and burly. Like, he's got like you know, and then he's like a businessman. It would be like dad at the middle that can't hear. Oh, and he like can't he can't. He's You're explaining here. our dad. <laughs> and you would be there to be the translator. Yes. But she wants to have her own life and she sings and they can't hear her. And they're like, what is that? But they're like a little like, like rough and it was very, very good. It was like, like a feel good peanut butter falcon ish kind of feel. Oh, I love that. that peanut butter falcon. Oh, wait, we watched that this year. Peanut well, butter that falcon. Was too? That peanut was a great falcon. movie. If you haven't seen peanut butter falcon, that was awesome. That's an awesome movie. Oh, I love awesome. that movie. I love peanut butter falcon. All right. What's next? Books? Yeah, because not we. I didn't look up movie. I went to go on Netflix and do more, whatever. Okay, I'm a I'm a reader. Ready? Okay. So I read I have, um the Percy Jackson series. I read twenty three books. Here are my top favorites. Ready? Here we go. All different genres. Early. <laughs> so are you gonna say the genre? Because that might intrigue sure. certain people. All right. This one is. I don't know what the genre would be. Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Early Morning Riser by Katherine Heine. I loved this Could you book. imagine if that was your last name, Heine? 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 How do you say H-E-I-N-Y? Yeah, I'd Heine. say Heine. Heine. Katherine Heine. Um, Early Morning Riser. Loved it. If you like Amy Papel, you will like this book, which is also a good book, Musical Chairs by Amy Papel. Um, Four Winds by Kristen Hanna really good like I couldn't put it down American Dirt kind of same genre like historical fiction Four Winds and American Dirt are kind of, well American Dirt's happening now but they, there's a controversy oh you told me about and they're not they're not new but well yeah these Four are, Winds is new this is just things that we um, well Early Morning Riser is new Four, Four Winds is new American Dirt is not new and there's controversy that they say that's really not what it's really like so there's controversy oh. But it was really, really good. But if you take it as fiction and not historical fiction, then yes. you may enjoy it. Yes. Right? Two memoirs. One I listened to and I loved. Jessica Simpson's book called Open Book. I loved it. And well, Annie, you used to watch the Jessica I watched Simpson the newlyweds. Show. Like, she's a little bit younger than me. Like, she's, I remember. She's my age. Her and Britney Spears. Yeah, I remember all that. Christina Aguilera, Aguilera, Justin Timberlake. But, like, she... Andy listened to it too, and she reads it, and you might think like, oh, she uh, reads her own book. Uh -huh. You might think like, oh, Jessica Simpson, like dumb blonde. No, I it's not Jessica. I mean, Simpson's she might story. Be, she's like, 
It was, you have a fighting Jessica Simpson. I did. Did you know her? <laughs> no. <laughs> so last spring, I needed new underwear and I was at DJ Max. <laughs> She's a gazillionaire because of her clothes. And I get home from DJ Max and I write to my girlfriends. I've got like a group of moms that we text all the time and I go, who do I think I am? I just bought Jessica Simpson underwear. No, she's got good, she has a lot of like cool stuff. That's how she's making her millions now. Well, they're very cheap, so don't buy it. Well, <laughs> but, but she had like a drinking problem, but yeah. she talks about like growing up in the church. And it was really, I really recommend it. I listened to it, it was very good. I go to DJ Max and buy her underwear. <laughs> and the other memoir, that, which I loved, is called From Scratch, a memoir by Tembi Locke. That was really good. She is, I think she's an actress, but she is African American. She studied abroad in Italy, fell in love with a chef in Italy. The, Heck fa yeah. the family didn't really like, you know, even um, though they were in Italy, there was still racism there and they never really accepted her. And you find out right away, I'm not ruining anything. Her husband passes away of cancer. So it's basically like, it goes back and forth like how she fell in love and how she met him and then they moved to he moved to america to live here with her because she was going to be an actress and he could be a chef anywhere and then how the his after he passes away and they have a daughter together how the family then does accept her and kind of take her mm -hmm. in and how she becomes like part of their family after he's passed away even though they didn't right. accept her when they were when he was alive right and it was so good My, um the woman I used to work with, Carol, she retired, but she recommended it was very good. Try so that they are my favorite books of the twenty-three that I read this year. I and I'm lot. reading one right now. Can I talk oh, about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faux okay. show, because we got like not much left. Okay, so my this. favorite one of my favorite books of all Ooh, times was A uh, Fall of Marigolds by Susan Meisner. So this is a new one by her. Um it came out in February, but I got it for Christmas and look, I'm almost done with it. It's so good. And look at my fancy bookmark from Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck. So Yay. guess what? I bought the faux leather so I can make that stuff on my cricket card. Oh uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. I can't lose my spot. So I bought oh faux leather. You can make cricket. It can cut wood. It can cut the thin wood. Shut like up. your you earrings, like the super thin earrings. Heck yeah, man. You can make me a bookmark that says cocktail. Cricket, cricket that. Cricket that. Forget that. All right. So that's the book I'm reading right now. The Nature of Fragile Things by Susan Meisner. It's very good. I'm enjoying it very much. Dalton, we got dinner. Super. They got dinner. Good job. Excellent. The boys did their job. All right. So um, thank you to all the Wait, people. we skipped some. No, we didn't. We're on book. Shows, movies, books. So thank you to all the people who suggested books for my son who likes to hey. read. And a couple episodes ago, um, we're working on the Apollo series right now. We um, He got... <laughs> Santa okay. accidentally got him book two, so he also got him book one, and Which, she got him book three. And so, Yaya tried to get one and two, and so we're good now. We're so good, we have books covered. one, two, three. So we're gonna read those. We got a bunch of other books, so I'll be reading lots of um, like young adult books in the new year. Pretty soon he'll be able to just like read by himself. He, he can, can read. read, but like when it's like. He loves Diary of the Wimpy Kid. So he doesn't like graphic novels. And I believe Diary of the Wimpy Kid is in that genre. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's definitely but, a graphic novel. But Diary of the Wimpy Kid is more book form. Yes. Right? He doesn't like graphic novels that are yeah, like yeah, yeah, a yeah. comic book. He can't follow that. He likes sentences. And I think the font on the Diary of the Wimpy Kids helps him a lot. It's like a little bit bigger. Yeah. And like, so he. We've been joking around lately. He's been fighting me on reading after school lately. But then I have to yell at him to go to bed at like 9.30 at Did night. Did you put up his lights? So, he's yeah. Reading. So that's... All right, so book. So project. We're on to our Patterns favorite project. project. Well, my favorite project I made, I think, was the Driftwood Pullover because it was my first sweater. Yes, it was. And, and it was a really good pattern. So if you want to make a... If you like Tunisian crochet or you want to try Tunisian crochet, it was very simple. And it's a sweater. It's like a boxy sweater. And I wear it all the time. It was your Rhinebeck sweater. It was my Rhinebeck sweater. And it looks like it's from a store. Yes. The only thing that wasn't clear was how to attach oh, yeah, the yeah, sleeves, yeah. which I have discussed in a previous episode. And I did my seams on the outside because I felt like it was a little yes. bit like, yes. I don't know. I like it, it that way. 
I yes. switched it, so it seems on that side. And my favorite project of the year, which if you look at any of our last like seven podcasts, apparently I wore the sweater in every single one, was my wool and honey sweater. That she was supposed to give to me! <laughs> By Andrew Come on. Mowry. It's my, like... I would say this was my favorite project I made. Oh, I'm, glad I, I loved I'm glad I received it. It's a little tippy, though. Because I love it. Okay. And then our favorite recipe of the year. Don't like you I love the recipe? text about the COVID-positive people that you were just with? And we're, like, negative. No. That one's negative. That one's... Okay, just an FYI. Just FYI! We're fine. It, it is what it is. It's fine. You hugged people. I hugged people. Yep, yep, yep. I'm not worried. It's so fun. COVID's so fun. I have a I have double vaccine and a booster. If I get sick at this point, hopefully it's I've done everything I can possibly do to protect myself. Okay. Um so the, yeah, projects. That was that was my favorite project. What else do we have on Recipe. There? Okay, I have two. Do you, how many do you have? I don't know. My new, okay, so new to oh, me recipe was my, you wrote it down for me. What is it? It's the easy one pot Italian meatball something something. You didn't soup. write the rest down? No, I told you. You said, I know it. Easy one pot Italian meatball soup. But it's like a meatball with sausage. It's not with mm. meat sausage. With orzo. It has orzo in it and zucchini and chicken stock. And I love, like, it's so good. And if I make a loaf of bread that day, a sourdough loaf, and then I have the pot of soup, it's so good. Oh, I just saw, yeah. like, a Greek lemon orzo soup that yep. I have to make. Cause it's, like, thick and creamy lemon sauce with orzo oh. in it, and it's a soup. And yep. it's chicken in it. Yep, yep, yep. So that was my favorite. We'll link it below. I found it on Pinterest. And my other favorite one, which is super, super, super simple, but we ended up making it, like, every single Tuesday night because I had banned is Betty Crocker chicken pot pie. You didn't make it. You ever heated it. No, I made oh, it. Oh, you made, made it? it? It's a, re it's a recipe. I meant like you bought the Betty Crocker no, pie. No, I made it. <laughs> I it's not a recipe. I totally thought you like bought it out of the freezer no. section and baked it. No. I buy the Pillsbury pie crust. In the tube, totally in the no, no, I make so it. I love frozen chicken pot pies. My mom and dad. No, also these are do. from fresh. This is real. Like I oh, make the it? chicken. Oh, yeah. I make the chicken, and then it's I make peas and carrots and flour version. and and yeah, I know. I make a good peas. Wait, watch version. I don't like the peas. I leave them out. We leave, we do peas and carrots, and <laughs> it's delicious. And I left the carrots out last night because Aldi had no frozen carrots. Gotta love Aldi. It's like. We got, you take what you Fresh get. Fresh carrots, chop them. <laughs> so um, I didn't have carrots last time, and we all like it. So when my son Dalton is at college, apparently he doesn't like any of the food that we like. Because when he's home, it's he like. He and Wade are very similar he's in like, their Ugh. food. And he's like, what are you making? I'm like, chicken pot pie. He's like, Ugh. I'm like, what yep. do you mean? Ugh. My kids both go. My kids would eat, like, we. there's nothing left. I leave her band on Tuesdays. I come back, there's like, there's like that little piece of pie crust. I'm like, ooh. Same with that orzo, that mm. soup. I made it so good my husband turned it god bless him he turned it on one night because my son wasn't home from sports yet and he like left it on low i got home and it was like a brick of black yep it oh, and then i couldn't my dutch oven my like favorite thing i own it i couldn't it get in it. i yeah i couldn't get it out and i remember amy called me my crazy friend and i was like i can't i've been scrubbing this pot for a week because you can't scrub it because it's no. a dutch oven she said her aunt meme who's like a million years old said take a ready another life hack life hack ready psa take, take you know your little dishwasher tablets yeah okay take that put water in your pot open it and just let that soak for you know, a couple hours whatever come back it comes right out <gasps> i literally Stop tried it. for a week without like really scrubbing because it's a dutch oven 200 dollars pot I put that in there, it came right out. It must be just like concentrated uh -huh. enough. Yeah. I left it. Yeah, so it works. There you go, folks. Save your Dutch oven. So that was my, they were my recipes. You know, I'm sure I have a bunch of recipes that were new this year. I love little puff pastry beet brie things that we had at our last Christmas party. I've made, I made them they Christmas Eve, so I made good. them Christmas Day, and I've made them, and we made them another time because I had leftover puff pastry from the Christmas party. So I have made them with the 
cranberry sauce. Mm. I've made them with pepper jelly. I've made them with pepper jelly and cranberry in one. Uh, we we like the plain cranberry the best out of that group. And then I made fig ones, fig jam. It was the fig and orange jam. We made your fig pizza cranberry. on Christmas Day. Yeah, that's so good. And then I made just cranberry with the orange zest that we had forgotten on oh, our yeah. Christmas party for Christmas Day. And it was delicious. I love them. And I got a mini muffin tin so they oh. like, are a little bit better. Now, the fig jam exploded all over the whole muffin tin. Oh. But it came off super easy because it was a good pan. But the cranberry ones like just stay. So they were our favorites. I have to take a quick break. Good, I need a refresher. All right, memory. So my mother, I'm putting this one in for the peanut gallery. So my mother and Leanne went to get Dalton from college to bring him home for Christmas. So this was, so when we, when I was writing my show notes, she was next to me and she goes, I know my favorite memory. I wasn't there, but I can imagine. I wish Dalt was here right now. Okay, ready? I'm gonna tell the so, story. Okay. Don't read it. Just keep okay. it. just keep talking. I love the texts that are coming. <laughs> okay. So my mom and I had to go pick up my son Dalton from Pittsburgh. This is so funny. And in one day. And if anyone knows where we live, it is a six hour drive one way, six hour drive back. Full six hours. Oh, yeah. Like Add some stops in there. Go to the bathroom. It's it's six hours one way. We knew we were in for a long day. My mom picks me up in the morning, and I said, Mom, um, should we listen to an audiobook? Great idea. Okay. So we listened to The Extraordinary Life of Sam Hell. I now, hope some of you have If you have read it or, or read heard it. it, excellent book. It didn't make it to my top, but it was it was a really good book. But I hope that you know literally what's six hours into the drive to get to Pittsburgh, there was not one sexual comment, nothing. It was about like a boy that grew up in a Catholic church with a, a overprotective mother and nuns, and there was nothing sexual at all about the book. Zero, <laughs> nothing. Not not even you didn't even think it was going there. Okay. So you can guess where the story's going. So we pick up my son from school. Spoiler alert. So he gets in the car and my mom says, don't let me listen to a book for six hours. Do you mind if we listen to it? No, I don't mind at all. Um, so we kind of catch him up. That's what's happening. He's like, okay, yeah, it sounds good. Also a nerdy reader. Oh yeah, he loves to read. Loves yeah, it. Yeah, loves it. He's a journalism major. Yeah, so yeah, he, he reads. So He's we a get, reader. He get in the car and yeah, we're like driving an hour, hour and a half. Still, very, yeah, he's like, this is a good story. I like this. We were on the Pennsylvania Turnpike or the New Jersey Turnpike? Pennsylvania. Oh, we were like four hours from home. <laughs> so, Pennsylvania Turnpike. I'm driving. This is a setting. Okay, so I'm driving. It's dark. My mother's in the back. <laughs> Sunny. Dogs are barking. She wants her toy. And it's on the steps. Go get it, Sunny. You're ruining the story. Okay. I'm driving. My I'm son is on the right, who is gonna be 20 next week. My mother's in the back, we're driving. Well, the boy in the book hits his teenage years. And what happens in your teenage years when you work with a very pretty girl? Well, he decided to have his first experience and it went into detail. Very, very graphic detail. And as my son is sitting going, oh my God, oh, oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. So I say to him on Christmas Eve, <laughs> Dalton, I heard about the book in the car and he goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, like, you're like, it's going to end, but they're going to stop. We're like, stop talking about it. I'm like, nope, it's still going. It's still going. And I'm like, Dalton, isn't this fun? You're in the car with your mother and your grandma. And he's like, oh my God, make it stop. Make it stop. There's more. Make it stop. Make it stop. My mom's like, and my mom goes, so when she got home, she goes, I thought Dalton was going to jump out of the car on the throughway. <laughs> She goes, it'll be my top memories of my entire life ever. It we was did. so funny. <laughs> we did fast forward, but he was like, yeah, too late. Like, you let it go on way too long. <laughs> Mom goes, once it got to her nipples the, the size, size of pancakes. <laughs> and my son's a pretty straight-laced kid. Like, uh, he's like, safety like, patrol. Like, he's like, he was like, Mom! Mom! <laughs> but his face when they asked on Christmas Eve. I heard about the story of the car. <laughs> we 
saw this in the spot and he was like, <laughs> I swear to God, make it stop. <laughs> and I wasn't even there. It was funny. We laughed really, really hard. We also had half of the shady maple uh, grocery store in the back of the car. Uh, anyway. So what was your favorite memory? <laughs> that is risque. <laughs> My favorite memory ended up being the weekend that I thought was going to be not a nightmare, but a nightmare. What, Rhinebeck weekend. I was a, oh, yeah. We ran a house for four days, and you guys probably remember. Well, I have my own personal I couldn't go, like, for two days, and I was, like, <laughs> oh, so bummed about it, and because we had my son's senior night and whatever, but I ended up having the best four days ever, because one day I went with just Purple Debbie. We went to a restaurant, went to the knitting store, went to Red Bank. We had such a fun day. The next day I went with Paige, we got lost in the woods, <laughs> and we knitted, and we had tea, and, and we had cooking senior day at the football game. I had senior night, and then we went to Rhinebeck for two days, oh. and it was like the, I met so many of you guys, your fans, and everything, so it was like, that ended up being my like favorite favorite weekend, which I thought was gonna be not my favorite because weekend. you were so because you I was thought you so were going to run back, driving home, going back, driving home, going back, driving home. And that made me because this morning I was drinking my coffee. I'm like, I knew we we're doing this tonight. Let me write my stuff down. And I thought, you know what's crazy is that it took that for me to have those kind of days. Right. Like I wish that I could go hiking with Paige in the woods on, on a Friday and like get lost in the, well, I don't want to get lost in the woods anymore, but <laughs> we got really lost in the woods. But to do that. You have to go with Nick. He's super good at those woods. So is she. No. Yeah, she is too. But, but he mountain bikes back there. Super and he's, lost. Because I won't go back there without mm. Nick because I don't know. But oh, I'll and my other work. favorite stuff was that I did my um, 52 oh my hike challenge. With when, Carrie. You went, when you got lost at Shark River with Carrie, that was Ooh, funny That was too. bad. I had Chase. It was snowy. That was rough. My hip hurt. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm like, oh my God. So I want to get back to that. We're going to get back to it. Carrie's been so busy with her pet sitting. So, but we'll get back to that. That's been great. That was an awesome thing this year. My actual favorite memory was we went to Vermont this summer, which my kids have never been to Vermont in the summer. They've only mm. been for skiing and we didn't get to go skiing last year because... Vermont was super strict with COVID rules and oh, I didn't yeah, want them to have to right. quarantine yeah, for two yeah. weeks afterwards and we just didn't get up there. So we went for like 4th of July weekend, but which got, it was supposed to be right when school ended, but it got pushed, pushed, pushed because of yeah. all-star baseball. And we went and we, we took the kids and it had just rained the day before. And I said, let's just hike and we'll just, we'll take a hike on the mountain. We stay right on the mountain. And I said, we'll just walk over to the base and we'll just like, We'll meander up a little bit, and I'm like, we're getting higher. I'm like, let's, let's, let's go that way. And it had rained, so there were newts all over the place. Oh, yeah. Just the camp. So, like, they had so much fun. Yep. It was slippery and wet and nasty, and we got dirty. And we made it all the way to the summit of the mountain. And we made our way back down on the chairlift. And my screensaver on my phone is a picture of us on the chairlift. It's That was my favorite memory of the year. My, my favorite, kids made it up the mountain on their feet. My other favorite is getting our kitten. Yeah. Oh, and Sunny. Well, that was last year. That was last year. Our kitten. But we the raised best. her this year. Mm. You sure did. We all mm. raised her. She needs a little more help in the raising department. No, she's a good girl. We've been working on Drop It this week, and she's getting much better. <laughs> all right. So I think that's a wrap. We talked a lot. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, it was really it was long, a long one. But. Just knit away. I hope you were knitting the, or crocheting, whatever you do the whole time. Or spinning, spinning or weaving, or dyeing felting. your yarn. Yeah, you can't buddy. read a book while you watch us, but listen to. Them. All right, so join our new to you make along. Hashtag new to you M A L twenty twenty two. Ravelry Instagram, like Patreon. and subscribe. Oh yeah, like and subscribe us. We're supposed to say that. We never do that. No. Do that. Um, join our Patreon if you want. You're not too late to get your yarn if you want yarn in the mail. Yes, and month. my Patreons. Oh, my Patreons. We're not. We're like patrons, learning the lingo. The patrons who already are subscribed to the yarn of the month. Um, I'll be sending you out messages this weekend, and I'm gonna be dying the yarn next week. I have a huge. I think I have a hundred skeins that I'm dying this Ooh. week. So. Thank goodness yes. FedEx found us because they deliver oh. willy nilly wherever they want. Yes. Um, yes, my yarn was at the coop. There's we, no address. We need to talk because my son's college just got delayed a week. And when I'm supposed to take him back, 
Oh, I can go with you. Is during our half hour live cocktail appetizer trying. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, but if you go with me, we can, we can do it in there. Pittsburgh. Yes. So you yes. can go with me. We gotta talk about that. Is mom gonna be away? Still? It's the 14th and 15th. They're still away. They are still away? They go home on the 15th. Mom and dad are going on vacation. That was their Christmas present to each other. They're going to Sanibel. Which means we'll get a blizzard in New yes. Jersey. So Whenever New they Jersey, go away. Expect a blizzard. <laughs> Between the 8th and the 15th. Yes. Oh, Probably on the so 13th they. or 14th. Yeah. Unless Andy can help. She's going skiing. She's going skiing. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, well. Anywho. So we got to figure that out. We can do it Zoom live. We'll figure we'll it figure out. We'll figure it out, but I think that's it. So, All right, folks. All right, thanks. It was really long. Sorry. Okay. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Okay. New Bye. to you.